in my first hour, I was talking about, you know, the death of outrage. Like, you know, we're, we're not outraged by things anymore. Here's uh, this story, uh, Crew, uh, Citizens uh, for, Respons for, for Responsibility and Ethics in Government, um, which is a great organization. It's, it's one of those kind of sunlight organizations. Let's have an ethical and responsive government, right? And uh, they have filed a complaint with the IRS about the Trump Foundation, because the Trump Foundation in, uh, has been using uh, donor money run through a nonprofit to pay expenses that Donald Trump, where he has lost lawsuits, that he is supposed to be paying with, you know, pre-tax dollars uh, through his companies, and or, or actually with post-tax dollars through his companies. And instead, they're paying him with pre-tax dollars by running them through the foundation. And this is illegal, and it's a, it's a scam if these charges are accurate. Um, they, they say, the, uh, according to recent news reports, in this is from the crew press release. Uh, in 2012, the foundation made a $158,000 grant to the Martin B. Greenberg Foundation as part of a settlement of a lawsuit of the Trump National Golf Club, which Trump owns. The settlement included language that the club, the club would make a charitable donation, which was instead paid by the foundation. So the club, the for-profit entity, was supposed to make the donation, and instead the foundation, which is itself theoretically a charity, made the donation. Uh, you can't do that. You can't, you can't do that. It's against the law. It's a violation of the tax code. The settlement included language that the club would pay, make a charitable donation. Uh, yeah, I, I just read that. Similarly, Trump pledged to donate $100,000 to charity to settle $120,000 in fines racked up by his Mar-a-Lago club. Again, the club didn't pay it. Trump didn't pay it. The foundation paid it. The foundation, by the way, took a half million dollar contribution from uh, NBC Universal. What's that all about? The Trump Foundation repeatedly made paid pledges made by Trump and his wife Melania at charity auctions. These pledges include $12,000 for an autographed Tim Tebow football helmet, two pledges for portraits of Trump, one for $20,000, the other for $10,000. The foundation also paid $5,000 for advertisements and charity programs promoting Trump's hotels and made an illegal $25,000 contribution to support Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi, whose office at the time was reportedly investigating Trump University. Now, to the best of my knowledge, there is nothing like this around the Clinton Foundation. And yet the press will treat this as, oh, well, if, if one side did something wrong, the other side must have done something. You know, this whole false equivalency thing, right? I mean, this is, this is just mind-boggling. The, the fact that, you know, number one, it's, it's virtually not even, you know, if, if something like this had come out about the Clinton Foundation, that they were in open violation of the tax code, that they were breaking the law in order to save money for the Clintons or in order to make money for, their, for a business that they had or to pay the fine, it would be outrage because we, have, we hold Hillary Clinton to different standards than we do Donald Trump, which just makes me nuts. It's just, it's crazy.